Hello everyone, in this presentation, The Last 400 Years Part 3, we'll look at the world wars that happened in the last century. We've had two world wars already, World War I, World War II. Is there a third world war going to happen? We need to, we can find the external causes of the wars in any uh, history book. But while are there any internal causes of the world wars? This presentation will look at this. First of all, if we, go, if we go back to Jesus' course, the failure of John the Baptist in the last 400 years, uh, of, in preparation for the coming of Jesus, this caused the three temptations of Jesus, having to go through three temptations. These are three attacks by Satan on Jesus. Now, in the last 400 years, on the worldwide level, the failure of Christian nations caused three world wars. For example, the, the bad conditions the Christian nations set by, for example, condoning slavery in Christian nations in the Industrial Revolution time. Uh, children, very small children, were working in factories and so on. But Christian nations uh, didn't speak up for them. They condoned this. So this... These bad conditions will possibly enable three attacks on the Christian, Christian world. Now, first of all, we need to... Uh, we know how God works in history, as, we, as we've seen. God's purpose in history is to lay a foundation of faith, then a foundation of substance to do unity, which is a foundation to receive the Messiah. And then the Messiah comes with God's words, to bring about God's kingdom. Now how does Satan work? What's Satan's purpose in history? Well, it's the exact opposite. Satan's purpose in history is to lay a foundation to destroy faith in God, and then a foundation to destroy unity. And this is a foundation to send the Antichrist, who brings Satan's words, to realize Satan's kingdom. So it's very simple in one way, but that's... It's clearly what it is. So, you know, when we think about the Antichrist, people have various ideas. There's someone pretending to be uh, Jesus, pretending to be a good person and misleading people. But it can be that. It often is that. But actually, the, Satan, the word Antichrist, means a, a being against Christ. Well, Satan will use any means at all. The last 400 years is a battle, battle between God and Satan. So Satan will throw everything at God, everything at the Messiah, to stop God realizing his purpose. Now if we read this passage in Revelations 13, 1-4, this will help us to understand how Satan's been working. It reads, And I saw a beast rising out of the sea, seven heads, blasphemous names on its heads. Its mouth was like a lion's mouth, and to it the dragon gave its power and his throne and great authority. The whole earth followed the beast. They worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like the beast, and who can fight against it? It opened its mouth to utter blasphemies against God, blaspheming his name, his dwelling, that is, those who dwell in heaven, also it was allowed to make war on the saints and to conquer them. When you hear this, what image comes to your mind? This is very clearly a military person. A person has blasphemous names on its heads. The whole earth followed the beast. And they're boasting who, who is like the beast, who can fight against it. But it's against God. Blasphemy is against God. Blasphemy is name and is dwelling. And it made war against the saints. So he's very clearly a military ruler, a military leader. And uh, we'll come to it shortly. But it's very important to understand that. Satan will work through many means, of course. Uh, he will work through persons pretending to be good. That has happened already. But we need to look 
how Satan first works uh, into us. It, look, it seems very clearly from a military leader. Now, next point, Satan realized a, a fallen world through three beings, the archangel, Eve, and Adam. That was the fall. The archangel called Eve to fall, and when Adam also fell, then Satan realized his purpose. Satan could realize his lineage on earth. So therefore, God will realize in the last days, uh, God works on a world level and will realize the ideal world through three nations. Now the internal causes of the world wars, first of all, Satan's last struggle is to restore the three blessings and the three temptations, and it's a worldwide Cain-Abel conflict. Now, first of all, uh, I explained the World War One. How did this come about? Why did it come about? Where well, in Satan's side, three nations: Ad Germany, the on, uh, Adam nation, represented Adam; Austria-Hungary, Austria-Hungarian Empire. This is the Eve position, we say Adam, Eve, and the Archangel, and Turkey in the Archangel position. So three beings, you see, three three positions representing the three persons of course before. Now initially on God's side, there was Russia, Britain, and France. Now it's in the form of the first temptation. Did it need to be a war? Not necessarily, not necessarily at all. But these nations, these are monarchic nations, kings and emperors, they are actually trying to share the world. For example, Turkey was an Islamic nation that had a big genocide where it killed many uh, uh, Kurds at that time, Armenian, sorry. But Germany and Austria Hungarian Empire didn't care, they were just allies. They just want to share the world among themselves and they didn't mind what other nations wanted to do that but the other Christian nations initially Russia Britain and France they stood against this and they defended they stood up for, for they stood up for Christian principles they should not uh, support genocides and so on if you notice there Russia became a, a communist nation the Russian Revolution 1917 so they came out of the war, but the USA, America entered the war that same year. So these three nations, America, Britain and France, were the able side. Now that there's three beings, God tried to realize the ideal world through three beings, Adam, Jesus, and the Lord of the Second Advent. Adam fell immediately, uh, Jesus was crucified, but he laid the foundation for the second coming. And the second coming of Christ will complete Jesus' work. So therefore there's three beings in those positions. So the satanic Adam is due to appear. And that was Kaiser Wilhelm II. His ideology was pan-Germanism. His goal was world dominion. Now, this happened in a way. The, the able side... Uh, delayed uh, at time, so they could not prevent the war, but a war did happen. But the able side did defeat the Cain side in this way, and then big change happened after the First World War. There was a liberation of colonies, and and uh, League of Nations was first formed at that point, and uh, this represented the first uh, assault by Satan, the first temptation on the world, but the Christian nations did resist it at the beginning. And if you remember, from 1917-1930, according to parallels of history, the second coming of Christ uh, is due to be born, and was born. This, is, this was also a foundation for the second coming of Christ to be born. So this, we'll continue this uh, in the next presentation, in part four of the last uh, 400 years. What happened after that? 
the uh, World War One was called a war to end all wars, but it didn't. There was a World War Two, and many uh, misfortunes that came after that. We'll continue this in the next presentation, uh, part part four of the last four hundred years. Thank you very much. Thank mm -hmm. you.